eventually I'll get the computer sharing software thingy. <laughs> so excuse my my very amateurish videos. Um, so this is a wealth class that officially starts tonight at midnight. I'm super excited. Um, I know a lot of you have been going back and forth and checking on it. Uh, even though it says scheduled for March 17th. Um, you know, I love it that you do check and, you know, to see if there's anything that's up. So I absolutely am super grateful for all of you that have signed up. Sorry about that. So I want to give you, of course, you're looking at it. Um, let me see if I could preview it as a participant. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is how you view it. So I want to show you. So this is the overview. This is what you see when you come to this class. Okay, that looks better, right? All right, so this is what you see when you come to the class. And of course it tells you start, this is the about. So that you should be able to see already, okay? And then, it says Thursday, March 16th. Um, Let's see. I don't know why it says March 16th. Maybe I did it wrong. Um, because it's supposed to start March 17th, so I will definitely check that. So um this first lesson is all about your dream, right? And I give you all the information and you get the first video. So those are what uh the course looks like. So I want to give you like um for those of you that haven't signed up, so you could get to see the course and what it looks like. And then, of course, once you complete your step, you hit complete step and then, you know, you go to the next step. And then. So the main thing is a dream because you're wanting to set your intention over what it is that you desire. Now, the wealth contract. I loved creating the wealth contract. Um, and we talked about this in the free wealth course when we did the declaration. Right. Uh, there it is. There's a certificate. And of course, there's the video for the wealth contract. Uh, this is your commitment to yourself. This is so, so powerful because there's just something magical about our signature. So when you create the contract of you declaring how much it is that you want to make per se in the next 44 days, six months, one year, two years, however it is that you want to do it. And especially that once you buy into this course, you could come back and repeat as often as you like. This course is going to be up for 365 days. So you're able to come back to the modules um, that, uh, that you want to just redo or that empowered you. You know, I get so many different stories from you guys of which ones really resonated with you, which ones really shifted your vibration and I wanted to start the course with your intentions, your desires, your dream, just to really give you that optimism energy of you could have what you intend, right? That is like my main thing for you in this wealth course and the declaration that certificate of achievement using the energy of scripting, it is super duper powerful. So that is on day two because day one is all about your dream. And day two is just declaring your dream, signing, giving that energy of this is going to manifest because I have decided that I'm going to go for it. So then we have the plan. Um, and here I talk about, because a lot of, a lot more like 89% of you guys, when you come with me about wealth, there's no plan. There's, I want $20,000 in the next three months, but there's no outlet. There's no exchange. There's, and everything has to have an exchange. Now, of course, there's people that don't have an exchange because they have fixed figures, uh, income, um, they, their job pays them X amount of money, but there's always open entries for those things. Now, the plan is just you deciding the things that you want to create, the lifestyle that you want to create to bring in the wealth that you uh, deserve. Because I also teach you that, you know, the energy of deserving. 
Okay, so if this is the plan, and of course, I'm just giving you like a little overview about, you know, what I have in the course thus far. Um, I try to add videos to most of the modules. You know, some of the modules are simple, so it's just like instructions. Because there's days that there's more hands-on work, and there's more day that's more kind of recapping the energies. Because the whole point... The whole point of 44 days is to get you on like a regimen of manifesting your wealth, of opening up the doors and um, working on a certain vibration and energy so you could create the wealth that you dream of. Um, so that's why, especially the first 10 days, there's just going to be a lot of work. And that doesn't mean like I have clients that will do one day and two days because they're busy. You know, they have a nine to five and the nine to five is probably more like a nine to nine, you know? <laughs> so there's, they have, they're getting up earlier. They're going to sleep later just to do the work. So sometimes some of these modules will have different things for you to do. The videos are like 20, 30 minutes long. So I, you know, I try to keep everything as, you know, think about you guys so I try to keep it less than 30 minutes but then there's so much information there's so much storylines that come into and the whole point is to inspire you that um, in, in a way for you to really hone in on your manifesting right so that's the plan and then we go even further and we talk about the cash flow energy and where cash flow um, comes from Again, you have, you know, the PDFs to it. And then we go into releasing, right? Major release work. Yeah. I think I didn't put in the right. I just noticed, see? I just noticed the videos are not right. So I got to go and fix that. Um, I love this. Love, 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 love. This is one. Uh, this is on day four, if I'm not mistaken. And this is one of the most powerful. So they're here. Here on, on day four, you have two different because you have releasing of the blocks. We go really in detail to finding out where these money blocks have came from. Childhood, adolescence, teachers, you know, different areas in your life. Then money like, blocks have been embedded into your DNA, into your chakras, into your energy. So we go deep in that and then we re-script it. So we change that energy. It's almost like changing the timeline, changing what occurred. And this is something that is so powerful because I do this for people that are just like really like thick headed, stubborn uh, about this is how it is. You know, I, I talk to people all the time. It's like, but you don't understand. You know, I love when they tell me I don't understand. It's like, oh, you don't know what I've been through. When they tell you, you don't understand this, you know, I just, I can't get through this or this doesn't change or so they live that because that's what they're spouting out. They're constantly declaring that they're a victim. They're constantly declaring that changes can, they want to, they want to do the wealth course, but then all they do is talk about how it doesn't change for them, how nothing has worked. So they keep singing that song and we don't really see until we get out of that, until you start to look at your life from an other angle. And really, like, when I, when Daisy's playing the victim, I have to get out of Daisy and look at her and be like, oh, wow, yeah, today Daisy said X, Y, Z. Today Daisy talked to her mom and complained about A, B, C. So then I have to address those complaints, address that negative energy, and re-script it to clear it. Sometimes I'll catch it right away and I'm like cancel 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 delete 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 but sometimes I don't because unfortunately my mom is a very dark lala and I share about this all the time as a matter of fact as I created this today I was doing I woke up I'm doing my meditations and stuff and my phone rings it's my mom so I I just automatically answered and she I mean not even a hello it's just spouting you know complaining poor me and then she goes into this dialogue of her past life you know, and I have to listen to this sometimes for, you know, because it's your mom. Like, you can't hang up on her. You can't tell her, you know, you have to be there because it's your, you know. So it's like there's times that I'm able to kind of bring her to another level and 
But when she is nonstop and she does not allow two cents in or a word, it's very hard to, to like really, you know, shift her vibration or energy. So I just kind of like, I'll put like music in a background, high vibrational singing bowls. And as she's venting, I'm clearing. I'm blessing. I'm shifting her vibration, <laughs> you know, and it's always like crazy to me because by the end of the call, she's, you know, her tone starts to change. So this is why I know this stuff works because if my mom, who's a dark Lala in her spouting moments, and sometimes, like I said, like today it took an hour and it took me to like, I got to the point that I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired and I have so much work to do and I'm going to have to clear myself, do my healing, do my, you know, and then I couldn't really get to work until super late. Like it's almost four o'clock. And now is when I'm doing a lot of the work when I like to start at 11, you know? So <laughs> it's really rescripting, you know, changing those negative days, those negative years, those negative memories. And you could do that by rescripting. And not only that, um, this is the one that I'm working on, which is day five. It talks about your story. So there's just so much magic that's going to go into this wealth course once you start tomorrow. So again, the wealth course is only $55.55. This is probably going to be a price that nobody's ever going to see again because nobody does these type of classes for this amount. You know, and my goal when, when spirit told me, Daisy, this is going to be affordable for everyone. And I did it. I said, you're absolutely right. I'm giving all my time, all my energy, all the effort, all of the spiritual guidance, all the co-creation to create this class for you. You know, and like I said, it's not just you because... I also, you know, I also do it for myself because I do the work myself. You know, working on our wealth is something that we are continuously, you know, because we grow. You know, I went from five figures to six figures and I'm escalating to the seven figure mark soon. So I'm super excited, you know, and being able to do this for my clients as a master and tender and manifester is surreal to me. So I have clients that are making seven and even eight figures. And it's just like, whoa, like that is super awesome, you know? So just witnessing the magic that I co-create for myself, for my clients, especially for my family and friends is truly inspirational and magical to me. Being able to create a class that has 44 days of access work. For you to address the blocks, clear them, release them. Not only that, you're learning how to do this. So when that negativity arises, you know how to change it and shift it and address it and take care of it. So you got to see um, a little bit of behind the scenes of the wolf class. Um, I'm also going to be adding this week a little more to the free wolf class because there's been so many positive um, stories already from the individuals that have taken the free wealth class. They, um, they expressed to me uh, uh, just little things, synchronicities that have happened. You know, a lot of the, the people that come to the free wealth class are, are in a very like desperate state and, you know, they're doing the work and they're redoing the work. I know it's not a lot. Um, it's just a you know, few modules. But I think the most powerful thing that is in a free wealth class is the power of two, because that is one of the most crazy manifesting energies that you will ever encounter is you connecting with your spiritual realm and your spiritual guides and, you know, what I call the executive team and that beautiful energy of manifesting and knowing that you have that access to this higher power to really help you with whatever you're going through. You know, it, you know, you, it, we do it through wealth, but I have clients that have used it for anything and everything. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, this week, which is a lot of work because my main thing is, of course, I already have uh, a few participants for the wealth class that starts tomorrow. 
um, again it's only 55 55 it is totally up to you it's up to you to start I know PayPal also has um, a payment plan that you could do there's PayPal credit um, but the choice is yours you know the, the choice to take or not take the class is absolutely yours um, I know I hear people that tell me that they can't afford it and um, I think it's funny because I'm sorry like this 55 55 that's li literally since I started you know sharing this class um, you know putting away a little bit of money aside to um, to I say investing yourself you know and um, I remember when I first started my my scripting um, to manifest the intentions with others I remember when I first started it it was only two hundred dollars and all the people that um, did the scripting class with me were like wow this is this is amazing you know this is absolutely amazing because they realize they realize these epiphanies these manifestations um, I have to message one of my clients today that she had a, a crazy manifestation happen to her <laughs> and she's just like you know she's like Daisy I'm on a cloud and it's and it's really cool when you are able to realize these manifestations real time in your life and I try to be as affordable accessible right it's not even affordable it's accessible because I know that when I wanted to um, go somewhere that cost a thousand dollars I made it happen so I feel like we build the excuses and we say we can't afford this and you know because of XYZ but the truth is you know I shared how I sold stuff on eBay to make um, the $200. I My goal was $200 and I sold stuff on eBay that, uh, that amounted way past $200. And then I did um, again for $55. So it's all up and it's, and it's a way for you to also test the manifesting. You know, use the wealth course and, and set the intention of, hey, I want to do um, this. I want to try this or I want to take Daisy's uh, class or I want to take her uh, scripting or I want to... Uh, whatever it is that you're trying to because um another thing that you're gonna learn in the wealth class is that you we have these visions and these dreams of the big stuff but we don't work on the little stuff and then, then we're wondering why we can't access the big stuff well if you don't work on the little stuff if you don't start manifesting the little stuff you're never gonna get to the big stuff unless you won the freaking lottery because the 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 point is that you you how do I explain it? You don't believe that you can make the big stuff. You understand? So, because you, you feel that the little stuff is also unreachable. Because I have this one client that every time I stopped emailing this person, because every time I would send out an email or because he was part of the email list, I would always get, I can't do it, I can't do it, uh, I, I want to, but I can't do it. And it's like, that puts a slump on me because, okay, if you can't do it, that's fine. Don't reply. Don't you know and in the beginning I would be like it's fine you're gonna do it you're gonna make it but you're constantly saying I can't and if you look at everything that I teach you have to say you can't don't declare that you cannot do something because that is the energy that you're putting out the energy that you're putting out is I cannot do this I cannot afford this I cannot have this so you want to shift the energy into, I will, I am, I can, you know? So don't message me and tell me that you can't afford a 55-55 class. If you don't want to take it, don't take it. That's absolutely fine. I understand that. You know, there's plenty of people that email me stuff that, you know, they don't want to take, uh, you know, that I don't want to be part of the class and I'll unsubscribe. You know, I think they're wonderful. I watch them for five minutes, but they're not really my mojo, right? So I unsubscribe, go our separate ways. But I don't email them and be like, I can't afford it or, you know. So, you know, and I tell you this because I want you to realize that you can have whatever it is that you want. You just have to shift your vocabulary. You have to shift your energy into the I can afford a $55 course. I mean, come on. I can buy my $350,000 house. You know, because I've seen this over and over and over in the people that I work with. 
even through like my books i have had people that just bought my books uh, my scripting um your desire dream life i forgot the name of the book <laughs> it's about scripting i always forget the name i'm so funny um and they they'll email me because my email's in there and they want the workbooks and stuff and they'll email me and be like oh my god daisy i tried one of the techniques because there's so many that's why i do these classes because scripting is not like it's not a how to script your dream life up up I'll, I'll link it below it's not like a just a one thing you know there's just so many branches to script and there's so many ways to script you know and i try to address a few of them in the book and i'm working on a continual to that book i also have their journals and the vision scripting and now i'm gonna do the vision manifesting like there's so so much magic to scripting and the reason i share this about the wealth course is because it's truly up to you it is truly up to you and like i said if you don't want to you don't want to be part of it i understand i totally understand like i said there's people that i love and i follow and i look at their stuff but i don't want to get this or that because i just don't want to right so if you just don't want to that's fine you know you don't have to um, but I said I was going to create this video because I want to share with you some of the magic that we will be doing. And I want to share with you your story. And um, this is a little freebie that I'm sharing with you in this video. So let's get to that. So, you know, what is your story? Um, like I expressed before, when people send me their intentions... I get like the big stuff like um how do I explain they will send me every dream that they've had since they were two <laughs> and it's just a lot and their intentions are everywhere you know so what I what I'm doing in this wealth course and I might add this to the free one as well probably a little differently because we go more in depth in the wealth class I'm doing right now it's how you want to write your story and the magic is writing it as if it has occurred right that's the whole thing of scripting is you want to write your story as it has already happened in your life as if it has already happened in your life so what is your story what is the story you're telling and that's the reason why i talk about you know the, you know, when people tell me that they can't afford a $55 class, I mean, it's just, yeah, okay. Um, that's the story you're writing. So you can expect to make millions of dollars if you're saying that you can't, you know, afford. And if you, and I get it when people are like giving me excuses, but some of the people legitimately they're telling me, they say, I can't afford a $55 are literally having issues. Like they're literally like they're having jobless issues and but everything we write and we say, that is our story. Do you understand? Like when I shared with you the conversation with my mom, that's my mom's story. My mom's story is how awful my dad has treated her her entire life, how awful her mother-in-law was, how awful her sister-in-laws are, how awful, how awful, how awful. And she's freaking 70. When is she going to change her story? And I tell her that. I told her one of the things that, you know, when I kind of uh, took her, I kind of, uh, she was escalating, escalating, and I kind of ripped the, the rug from under her. Is so when I said to her, I said, how old are you? And she's like, well, I'm almost 70. And I said, okay. I go, how old am I? And she's like, well, you're 48 years old. I go, okay. I go, how long have I not, has it been that I haven't talked to my mother long? She's like, oh, well, I don't know, like 10 years. I go, okay. I go, why are you addressing these people that you? you say are awful to you my mother-in-law is literally my husband's mother and I do not allow her to hone in her negativity or try to control me or try to put any of that energy on me we have to be honest people we have to be truthful we have to write our story and it took me a while because like I said I was really young with the whole thing with my mother-in-law. And even every while and again, like my husband will say things and I'm just like, oh my God, it's your freaking mother. You know, it's like, cause that's, you know, and like, especially when I'm like super manifesting, 
if he tells me something to bring my vibration down, I will stop him on his tracks. Be like, no, do not say that. And I will cancel it. I'm like, cancel, cancel, cancel. And I tell him, do not say that. And then I go into my rescript, which I teach. I think I taught about rescripting in a bunch of our free classes that you could definitely tap into. Um, but of course, I go more in depth in the wealth class because rescripting is so powerful. And what is your story? So instead of saying, dear Daisy, my life is shit. I wish I could afford your $55.55 class, but I can't because I'm melting. You would write not to me to yourself don't send me an email about how you can't afford my class you're going to write your story you could even write it to me just don't send it to me (laughs) dear Daisy I would love to be part of the class I'm saving the money I am working extra I went into my closet and I found some old stuff and I'm going to sell it. Um, I asked my brother to gift me. My sister, my uncle, my rich cousin, whatever. I asked for a bonus. Be bold, people. Be bold. Because if you're not bold, you stay small. I had, um, I sent out an article. And the magazine told me that they love the article. But then they made an excuse of why they were not going to publish the article. And they signed their name. So I called them. And I said, hey, can I speak to so-and-so? Oh, so-and-so is busy. Do you have an appointment? I said, no, I don't. But if you could send me to her voicemail, I would highly appreciate it. So they did. And I left her voicemail. I said, hey, so-and-so, I I saw your email. I'm super grateful. I'm super grateful um, that you considered me and if I need to change anything in the article or if you um, want to put it in a later issue, uh, you know, issue, um, let me know because I'll hold the article um, for you, just for you, exclusive. And if you still um, decide that it's not fit for your magazine, then it's fine. I'll just go and I put in the competitor. Don't ever say to a magazine that you're going to send it to their competitor. I got the email back right away. And my article is going to be in the magazine in a later issue in late 2023, maybe 2024. They still haven't decided. The point is, people, that you have to be bold. You have to be bold. And that could have gone another way. It could have been a no still. She could have been like, this girl is crazy. Who does she think she is? calling me leaving me a voicemail talking about my competitor but that's what I felt that's the energy that I felt and they might not publish it at all because magazines do that all the time and it's fine the point is to get yourself out there and write your story as if it has already occurred and what you want it to be Stop saying you can't afford this, you can't do that, you're not good enough. Stop all that. Cut all that out. Because that's what's going to change your reality. And you don't have to take my word for it. You want to do something crazy? Put on a recorder. Every time, here, here's an exercise This is going to knock your socks off that I know none of you are going to do. When you call your friends. Record the conversation. Get a recorder and tell your friend, hello, don't be mean. Tell your friend, hey, I'm going to tell your friend that you're doing a test. Um, And if, you know, and here's the thing, you guys are always afraid. I guess so many people, they're like, Daisy, I don't argue with him because, oh my God, I'm afraid that he's going to leave me. Or I don't do that because I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So you're with someone that treats you like ass. You don't tell him how you feel. Because you're afraid that they're going to walk out on you. Like, listen to that, people. I get all of this from you guys all the freaking time. All the time. If they love you, if they're meant to be with you, 
they ain't gonna leave you. Now, they don't love you. And they're just using you. They don't deserve you. So when are you gonna write your story and assume your divine goddess or God? When are you gonna write your story and be bold and live the life that you intend and you desire? The choice is yours. You can say your excuse in the book. I don't answer to them no more. I got to the point that it's like, if you're going to use me as your ex as that excuse of, I can't do this because of that, or I can't do that because of this, or that's not going to happen, or it never happens. And I just, I got to the point that I'm just like, I'm not replying. I'm not replying because I, it's going to take my energy because I feel bad. I feel bad and I don't want to feel bad. I should not feel bad for you. I should not get to the point that I pity you. Because if you're coming to my vibration and you're doing the works that I share with you, you should be escalating into your divine goddess, into your divine God, into that, you know, divinity light level. And we all go through stuff. And I talk about this all the time. You're going to have your meltdowns. We all have our meltdowns. You know, when you write your story, make it about how you want to be. And I'm, and I'll give you, and I always tell you this, I give a perfect example with me is my weight. Something, the story that I can never, I haven't, I can never know because I used to be really skinny. But the story that after my, after COVID actually, <laughs> after COVID, I gained a lot of weight. And I, my story is I'm such a fat ass. Um, and I do it as a silly dilly because it doesn't like hurt me. I'm not like, I don't feel bad because of my weight or anything like that. It's more of a health. Okay. My back hurts. So I do need to lose a good 50 pounds and I will lose 10. I'll lose 15 and then I'll forget and then I'll gain it back. And it's kind of like a yo-yo. So I, but I notice the story that I tell about my weight and I know I have to change so that's something and it's been a goal you guys some of you that have been following me for a while you know since last summer I set a goal that I wanted to do something and I even bought an outfit and I'm gonna do this and then I don't do it because I'm busy with all this stuff so I make the excuses you know what I'm saying it's an excuse oh I can't do that because I'm busy bullshit I can do it I can make the time I can put the effort because just like I could sit and watch Mrs. Maisel over because I absolutely love it and it puts me in a high frequency, um, happy state, I could put my treadmill in front of it and, and exercise for, for, you know, 30 to 40 minutes every day. I could do my spiritual walks that used to make me feel so good. So that's my excuse. So I understand. I understand about the excuses. Don't think that I'm talking down on you in any way. I'm shedding the light through spirit, but personally, I fucking understand. I know what you're going through. I'm not perfect. That's, I, gotta, I know I gotta change my weight story. Because if I wanna lose the 50 pounds so I can feel better, have more energy, yada yada, my blood pressure not that high. <laughs> I gotta change the story. I have to re-script that shit. So, when you tell your story, make sure that you understand what you're expressing because I didn't notice that I was saying certain things about my weight that I thought were funny at the time. You know, it's not like I was putting myself down. I thought they were funny. Oh, I'm such a fat ass. Oh my God, I'm eating another donut. I'm such a fat ass. You know, I thought it was funny. Or like my granddaughters come over, we're going to Garadelli. Uh, you know, and, and I'll just spurt out something silly. And I do it because I'm a comedian. <laughs> um, but I, I don't notice that that's, that's the story I'm telling. So it I, it took me a while to like, when I really sat down, I'm doing my journaling and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I do say that. So that's why the scenario of recording your conversations, I could never record my mom, Lord Jesus. <laughs> but I am aware of it. So there's no need to record it because I'm aware of the situation. I'm aware of those conversations. But when you're not aware of the story you're telling, because like I said, uh, for many years, I used to do the dishes and my story 
was all the things that were wrong, all the ways that they hurt me, all the ways that I could have lashed out. I mean, with me was mainly like my mother-in-law and her, her, the people around her telling me doing this, making me feel little or less than or whatever. And then in my mind, I was like, I should have said this. I should have said that. I should have done this. So it was like a very negative turmoil. And this was two decades ago so that's why when my mom tells me i'm like i stopped allowing this shit 20 years ago when i was 30 why are you still allowing this shit you know 15 20 years ago um you're almost 70 and you've been putting up with their shit for 50 years um what's going on lady so i was like no no you allow the people in your life that are like-minded, that are going to help you grow. And even in my line of work, you know, because I am working with clients, I'm going to come across people that are not vibrating anywhere near my level. And I reach out and help the ones that I can. But if I reach out and I help you, and you're not helping yourself, and you're still in that dark lala energy, I step back. I allow you to find your place because I can't keep feeding you, especially that I have my own, you know what I'm saying? So you have to look at your life from a different angle and to get out almost like, like a television set, watching yourself in the screen, you know, and I know sometimes it's hard to do because it is your life. Like I said, I didn't notice the whole thing about when I, I used to do this when I was doing the dishes, sometimes even like before going to bed that monkey mind right that was like so like annoying so I didn't notice that for a long time until I started to notice it and I was like okay let me address this of course I connect to my angelic team I remember I used to tell my angels um please when I get into that state do something to zap me out of it and I remember things would fall um, I remember one time I was doing the dishes so a dish fell in the dishwasher and I got soaked with soapy water and i started laughing and i, I remember my kids thought i was crazy because like you're not mad you're, you're soaking wet and i'm laughing i'm like no because i was having the negative thoughts and these were my spiritual guides freaking zapping me out of it and or i i would be walking around and things would fall down or something would always happen for me to realize okay wait this is this is wrong and then after a while it's gonna take a while but after a while then the story starts to change. And like I said, this is this is a lifelong thing because we're always changing our stories. And just like I'm trying to change my weight story now, you know, um, focus, on, focus on a little thing at a time. Don't, oh, I want a million dollars, Daisy. But then you, you don't even have five figures, you know. Manifest for now. Manifest, I have... Let's say your bills are $3,000 a month, right? And you make $3,500. That's not enough. Because $500 does not, it's not going to feed you. It's not going to put gas. You know what I'm saying? So you need to make at least $6,500. And that's a minimum. That's a minimum. So you need to figure out how you're going to get from here to here. Okay. I know you're focusing on, I know you're focusing on the big number, but how can you achieve this number if you haven't achieved this number? Do you see what I'm saying? So you have to figure out, I need to, what can I do to start aligning with that number so that means that whatever you're doing to make this number you have to double okay and if you're working a nine to five and this is what they pay then you need a side gig okay something that's going to bring you the other three thousand okay or not even it's just three thousand you don't need the other three thousand Okay, and this might be a side gig. This might be a part-time job, um, you know, 
you have to be open because the whole thing of the wealth course is that I know you want this but if you can't figure this out this is why this is why you become frustrated and you think it doesn't work and I learned this the hard way because I was always thinking about this that when I made my first $74,110 I didn't see it because I, this is this is it so I was not grateful for the 74,100 I think it was like with some change I can't remember I have it in my notebook I didn't realize it and that was such a pivotal moment you know and yeah this is of course my next goal but now I'm on the way I'm on the way for that you know so you have to figure this out first and that's what you learn in the wealth course because what happens is you become synchronized with the money and then when you get to here it's not doubling because this is what happens this is the poverty stricken mind and this is what i teach in my wealth course is that what happens to us because when i made 74000 i spent 74000 right because i was helping my kids i was buying lots of stuff right now what i did do that was smart was i invested in gold and silver gold and silver okay so i have this that if I go broke tomorrow, I could go and tap into that, right? But I don't want to. I don't, this, this is not my story. So when you say I don't have money, that's the story you're telling. Cancel, cancel. All right? You're going to cancel that story. Well, then what you're going to do is when you get here, now what happens is your bills are only 3000 So now you have 3500 left over. So then you're going to start saving. And I would save 30%. So what's 30% of 3500 so 30% of the 3,500 that you have left over now, because that's where you are, because you're at 6,500 a month, is 1,050. So you save this. You have to save this money and forget about it because you could easily spend it or create a new bill. We do that all the time. That's the poverty stricken mentality. So that's still gonna leave you with the 2,450. And at the moment, because you're still thinking about this number. You're not realizing that that's fucking awesome. Your bills are only this much. So instead of creating more bills. Because that's what happens. Middle class does this. Middle class lives above their means because they want to live like the wealthy. So then they go into credit card debt. overspending so instead of living above your means you stay right here for at least a year and what's going to happen in a year is this is going to multiply by 12 so now you have savings of over twelve thousand dollars that's some real money that you could put towards your business whatever it is that got you up to this number your side gig you could invest more money so that's what you have to look at and that's what we're going to teach in the class so i'm glad to have you here and that we talked about all of this and i already made this video long enough like i said the class is only 55 55 the links are below and i hope to see you there